If you want to understand the metaverse, don't think about it. Hey YouTube, my name is Pasla, and today we are going down one of the biggest rabbit holes I have ever found. Today we're going to be talking about Fluff World, the Futureverse, and all the other games in their ecosystem. And let me tell you, things are about to get weird. If you like this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. But without further ado, let's jump into it. So Fluff World is an NFT project that consists of rabbit avatars and bear avatars and other animals, but they're not just regular NFTs. Oh no, they are the future of NFTs. As we can see here on their website, it says, Fluffs are our Genesis collection of 10,000 3D programmatically generated rabbit avatars, each with their own unique features and stories to tell. It says, Fluffs love to party, whether they're raving up a storm in their burrows, kicking it with party bear friends, or traveling abroad through fluff world scenes. There's no telling where they might end up. Fluffs have been programmatically generated from 270 attributes across 14 categories to be unique by at least three degrees of separation. So what this project is saying is it's saying that these rabbit avatars, these bear avatars, they're not only NFTs for you to look at, but they can be used in metaverse games. This was kind of a craze back in 2021-2022 where 3D models of characters and weapons and things like that would be released as NFTs, and people used to say that you could be able to use these NFTs in whatever games you wanted. Obviously, this never came to fruition. This whole type of project is always just a scam, as we all know. But but look, they have they have rabbits, they have bees, they have bears. I kind I kind of like the bears. I'm not gonna lie. They have they have a bunch of spiders. They have, they have a lot of different kinds, and there's thousands and thousands of these things. These party bear NFTs just remind me of Open Season or Back to the Barnyard with those really really ugly 3D modeled animals. Like God. Look at these things. <laughs> look at these things. Now you can look through the 10,000 rabbit NFTs they have on their website, and it's really strange because not only are they absolutely ugly, but they come with a background and animation and music when you get them. You can click this little play button, and it's really, really creepy. Who is this for? Who is this for? But when I was diving down this weird fluff world rabbit hole, I found so much more. I saw in all the Fluff World promotional material that they kept talking about something called the Third Kingdom Cataclysm, and I had no idea what this is, so I had to look into it, and when I did, I found this website here. Now this website talks about all types of things like prisms, surreal scapes, and it actually has a play now button for the game. It turns out the Fluff World character and land NFTs are just the things that you need in order to play these games that are made by a company called Futureverse. Futureverse has numerous projects along with Fluff World and Third Kingdom. They also have something called Altered State Machine. Altered State Machine seems to be a type of NFT with an AI inside of it. And this article here says, Altered State Machine is, is an NFT platform looking to advance the NFT space by adding in artificial intelligence and machine learning in order to open up a massive world of possibilities. It says Altered State Machine agents have a huge variety of potential use cases. These will continue to grow as the infrastructure of metaverses grows in connectivity, such as playing sports games, combat games, multiplayer fantasy games, chatbots, trading, all that kind of stuff. Obviously, the metaverse never grew, so all this functionality never came to fruition. So they're basically just another NFT that go off the ASTO token. But Altered State Machines aren't the only NFTs in this ecosystem using AI. There's also the Thingies. Thingies are these little 3D spider creatures that will paint AI art for you over the course of 12 hours. You need to feed them moon rocks, which you buy with the ASTO tokens, and when given enough moon rocks, they'll start to create a masterpiece. Now, all the AI art these things draw are just things that we can do now for free in five seconds on mid-journey, but when this came out two years ago, you had to spend $20 worth of ASTO tokens to make it make one piece of AI art. You could then mint the art onto the blockchain and people, I guess, thought that collectors would buy these things? That didn't happen. They have a project called Adam Car Club, which is just owning fancy 3D models of cars as NFTs. And these were supposed to also be able to be injected into games and you can drive these cars in any metaverse game that you play. Obviously, that also never came to fruition. They have a couple of sports games, one being AI League Football, and the other one being Muhammad Ali The Next Legends Boxing, which the characters in both these games are NFTs, and you can play as them if you own the NFT in the game. But the weirdest one I want to talk about is a game called 
Gods and Goblins. Gods and Goblins seems to be a standalone game where you can get these goblins as your NFTs, and then you have the goblins perform a ritual to sacrifice NFTs, lowering how many of them are in existence and raising the cost. But according to this website here, when you sacrifice an NFT, it's then gone forever, and you get these little amulets as a reward for doing the sacrifice. What the amulets are used for is to be announced and was never revealed. So basically, you pay to have these goblins in this game to get these NFTs. You then sacrifice them and they're gone forever. You get a necklace and then that's it. Your NFT is gone. You have something that doesn't do anything and has no value. Cool. Now, when it comes to the Third Kingdom, which is their most popular and most advertised game, things get a little more complicated. So much so that I had to join the Discord to try and learn a little bit more. So when I joined the Discord here, I went to the Fluff World General channel, and it's not super active, but I was able to find some information. About five months ago, there was a post saying, The Third Kingdom is an upcoming strategy game with 312,500,000 root token in reward. In order to participate, you'll want to get Surreal Scapes, which were dropped to Burrows holders, and Prisms, which just finished minting. Now, I had no idea what any of that meant either, so I had to look into what Burrows and Prisms were. And it turns out they're just two different types of Fluff World NFTs. So Prisms are these little crystal things here, and Burrows are the land NFTs. There was another post in the Discord saying, we're still a few months out. Three to six months was announced about a month or two back, so getting closer by the day. We've heard that matching prefix and suffix to your lands, i.e. idyllic transcendence land with idyllic transcendence prism, will have optimal extraction, whatever that means, is left for speculation. Additionally, many have thought that simply aligning one or the other will still have better than wholly non-matching. So this guy is kind of just speculating and saying, we think that if you have a matching land with a matching prism of the same name, that when you bring those into the game, you're going to have the optimal effects in the game, and they don't even know what it means. They, they're just speculating here. But since that explanation, there's really been nothing here. Just a bunch of memes being posted maybe like once or twice a month. And that's it. So while I was scrolling through the Discord, I found this one absolutely unhinged comment that said, My son signed up with his Google account and got a Google wallet for root. He can install the pumps, mines, etc. So he's getting material to upgrade the tower. It just goes a lot slower. He can't earn energy yet because he was only building his second structure and the game has been down ever since. So not only is the game down, but this guy is saying that his son signed up for this crypto farming game. It's bad enough when adults fall for these scams, but when kids are playing it, that is a real problem. But looking at the Fluff World Twitter, it looks like the game really has been down for quite a few days now. This tweet says we're on it fighting to restore balance. During this time, the kingdom stays open in beta mode. Expect more bumps along the way. And in the comments, you can see people are really frustrated. One guy is saying that the community spent six million dollars on prisms and we have no idea when or if the game can even be playable again. And they're saying that they need more communication from the devs. This seems exactly like what always happens with these games. They take everyone's money and then just poof, they're gone. They're down for a week, a month, forever. Who knows when this game is going to come back up? But with that lackluster explanation, I figured, why not watch the actual gameplay trailer and see what it has to offer? Episode one. All right, so already when it says choose your island, these are the land NFTs here. So it's saying you can choose the biome that you play in, but you can only really choose the ones that you own in NFT form. So these currency down here are the cryptocurrency tokens used in this game. When you bring your prisms in and your lands in, you have a set number that you start with, and then you can spend your tokens to earn more through these buildings over time. Typical crypto NFT game stuff. It just looks like one of those like city building mobile games where you wait for your buildings to gather resources and then you just kind of click an icon to collect. Only the collection in this instance lets you get crypto. It, this seems like the type of NFT game that everyone tries to make, and I've seen a hundred of these fail. Wait, so okay, let me let me get this straight. So you upgrade your buildings until you're able to prestige. When you prestige, your buildings all go away, and then you have to start over. And raising your prestige level just unlocks things in the next chapter of the game, which has yet to be released. So you dump all of your cryptos, use all of your NFTs in this game, over and over and over and over, just cycle through it and prestige over and over. And then your prestige level gets you unforeseen rewards that are not released yet. Yeah, this seems about typical. Now, all of these projects run off of the root 
Cryptocurrency, which seems to be a company that wants to make seamlessly connected games, content, and experiences, aka steal all your money. Like all crypto projects, they have a scrolling thing down here showing all these big companies and celebrities that have partnered with them. But back in 2022, I feel like a lot of finance bros were telling like everybody to get on board with this stuff because this was going to be the future of finance and the future of, of the world. Obviously, it wasn't. Guys, while doing research for this, I found the most unfortunate thing. As of 2022, Snoop Dogg was a stakeholder in Fluff World. <sighs> I hate that. And it looks like Snoop Dogg's role with Fluff World was this? Whatever this is? It looks like 500 rare Snoop Dogg studios for the drop to smokebox the metaverse. I don't know what this is. Maybe they're land NFTs, but there is absolutely zero information here. And it looks like Snoop Dogg isn't the only celebrity that got in on this. In this article from 2022, it says that Dylan Francis and Mike Shinoda also got in on the Fluff World hype. They were a part of a giant rave called Fluff House to promote the NFT project. And it says, to become the epicenter of the NFT community, Fluff World built three geodesic domes called Fluff Dome, Beyond Dome, and ASM Dome with a combined capacity of 1,200 guests. And guys, there's footage of this. <laughs> It's just a giant rave full of crypto bros. You know that back here in 2022, there was just a bunch of finance dudes telling these celebrities like, look, if you get in on this now, you're going to be rich. And they all fell for it. And uh, yeah, it looks like it really paid out for them. Now, as you can see here, I was able to download the Futureverse launcher that has all of their games ready to play right here. But uh, unfortunately, you need a crypto wallet with NFTs attached to it in order to play these games. So I was unable to actually play them. I'm surprised these metaverse NFT crypto games still exist in 2024 and still get constant updates when the metaverse hard flopped and didn't really turn into anything. The metaverse that we were all advertised back in 2022 that was supposed to be like Ready Player One never came into fruition. But speaking of Ready Player One, in January of this year, Futureverse partnered with Warner Brothers Studios. In this article, it says a huge virtual world based on Ready Player One, story set in the future where people enter a virtual reality simulation to escape the real world, is coming soon to a real platform near you. Futureverse, an AI and metaverse technology and content company, announced the formation of Readyverse Studios, a studio co-founded with Ernest Cline, the novelist and creator of Ready Player One, and Dan Farah, the producer of the 2018 Ready Player One movie. So there are still companies out there getting suckered into these metaverse deals. It just seems strange to me that the creator of Ready Player One would help make this when the movie and the book is all about the downfall of society, but whatever. And of course, this is all going to be on Web3. So there's going to be NFTs and things like that going along with it. Of course, if you buy these fluff world avatars or these 3D cars or these avatars to to box with, you can't use them for anything except for these specific future verse games that aren't even part of any metaverse or online functionality. As you can see here, even on the Third Kingdom website, it says build, deploy, upgrade, prestige, earn coming soon. So you can't even earn anything in this play to earn game. It's always just a scheme for you to dump your money into it and then they'll run away with it all. Whether it's Gods and Goblins or Third Kingdom or any of the other NFT crypto games out there, you'll always see so many coming soon or upcoming features or things like that because these games never get finished. And all the promised functionality and this promise of like the future of technology and the future of earning money, it doesn't exist. It's all just a scam. But I just wanted to share with you guys this crazy rabbit hole I went down. Just remember, stay away from Fluff World, Futureverse, or whatever the hell this is. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.